Happy New Year. Happy 2022 to the LBC family. I bring you blessings from the church. As you can see, I'm outside, I'm in the garden. It's the warm sun. It's the lush green colors of the season. It's the nice wind blowing as well. It's cool, it's warm, uh, it's bright, it's beautiful to bring you blessings from outside the church. And I was thinking to myself, maybe this is symbolic of what I am giving to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I am blessing you to have a bright year. I am blessing you to have a refreshing year, a, a, a year filled with peace, tranquility, and God's presence. So church, once again, blessings for 2022. As I came to do this recording with Pastor Byron, I asked myself this question. What's the first thing that I did in 2022? What's the first thing that I did? And it struck me, church, that the first thing I did as I got out of my bed this morning was I came before the Lord. I came before the Lord. I mean, we do that all the time. We wake up, we have our quiet time, we wake up and we pray. But it just struck me as symbolic that the first act, before even having breakfast, before greeting anybody, before doing anything else, I was down on my knees and I was seeking the Lord. So this is a year 2020 where we need to seek the Lord. We need to put him first in all that we do. And the scripture that I have in that regard comes from the Gospel of Matthew. And I'm in chapter 6. And the verse is 33. It says there, But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Put God first, church. Whatever your plan is, whatever you prepared for 2022, God will bless it if you put him first. So it dawned on me this morning that the first thing I did this year, I sook the Lord. The verse that I want to bless you with, the verse that I want to speak to your life and speak into your year comes from the prophet Jeremiah. And this is in Jeremiah 29 and uh, it's verse 11. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. And it reads as follows, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. And so the, the, the Lord, regardless of what is happening around you, regardless of what happens in 2022, know this, that the Lord has plans to prosper you and not to harm you, and that the Lord has plans to give you a hope and a future. Stay blessed, children of God, and I pray that God Almighty will be with each and every one of you and that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you will have a blessed 2022.